היי, ראש חודש אדר בית טוב, מי שנכנס אדר מרבין בשמחה. And uh, for those of you who only speak English, so we are welcoming in the new moon of the leap year month of Adar Bet in the lunar calendar, the Jewish lunar calendar. And this is a month that God says, be happy, be happy. Whoever brings in uh, this month will have happiness. So what does that mean? Like if someone once asked around the Purim Suda, What, what does that mean? God's commanding me to be happy? You can't command someone to be happy. But God's not commanding us to be happy. God's saying if you bring in Adar, you will have greater happiness. So what is that? Right? In Adar, we saw the Geula, of, uh, the beginning of the Geula of the Jewish people in Babel, in Persia, and uh, the beginning of their redemption. And when Hashem says, you will have happiness, He gives us Oh, he, he can't make us be happy. As empowered people, as people who have the right to choose, we have the right to choose whether we're going to be miserable or whether we're going to be happy. So it is a choice. It's a consciousness. And no one can command us to be happy. But what does God do? God gives us all the parameters to be happy. How do we get to this? When... And they say that in the time of redemption, right, and a lot of people are talking about how we are so close. Mashiach is coming, the Messiah is coming. We are so close to this time of redemption. And when people talk about the time of redemption, they say that there's going to be so much enjoyment and so much happiness that we're not going to have to work. And when I heard that, I said, okay. I don't really see us all sitting around sipping Mai Tais with our feet up all day long, right? Man needs a purpose, things to do. And yes, it's great. Let's go to the beach. Let's put up our feet. Let's do nice things for each other. Let's volunteer. Let's, you know, read books that expand our knowledge and do activities that increase the quality of the relationships in our life. Sure. But we're not going to work. And what struck me immediately when I heard this was... What is so often said in the healing world between entrepreneurs, and it's not just in the healing world, entrepreneurs in general, when you are doing what you love, then it feels like you haven't worked a day in your life. And that is the God honest truth. That even though you still need to do your paperwork and you still need to do the things that you might not enjoy as much, the fact that you're doing what you feel you were brought here to do, There's nothing greater than waking up in the morning and feeling, oh, I love what I do. I can't wait to get to work. It doesn't feel like work. We all feel like there needs to be a different word other than work because work has the sense that you're working, like that it's heavy, that it's difficult, that it's a task. And yet, so maybe let's just change the whole stereotype about the word work and task and that it's not actually a heavy thing. It's something that I love, right? Someone calls her job joy of being, J-O-B, joy of being. When we're all in our joy of being, then we are in complete pleasure and we are not working a day in our life, right? And, and they say that the curses of Adam, of Adam and of Eve, they're going to be reversed, right? And so Adam was cursed with, it, you're going to have to toil, right? And so in the times of the Messiah, we're not going to have to toil. It's going to be fun. And you see more and more people really opening up to their calling. I really hope that the wind is not disturbing this video. I'm going to try to protect the microphone. Uh, we see more and more people lately waking up to their calling, waking up to, I just can't sit in a nine to five job um, where someone else is telling me what to do. I need to answer my higher calling. I need to work with counseling. I need to take my skills as such and such and use it towards this population. People are just shedding what they've been told to do or what they felt they needed to do and they're choosing to do what feels right for them. And so happiness is our destiny and we all deserve that. And part of our empowerment as women, or as people, right, because not only women are listening to this, is to find the things in our lives that always make us feel empowered. What are the things in your life that make you feel the most vital, that make you feel the most vibrant? 
that give you the energy to do anything and everything, right? You could feel yucky, but then this thing comes up and you're like, heck yeah, you know, and you are full of vim and vigor. And what are the things, do that, do those things, write a list for yourself, you know, my vitality list. And then what are the things that really drag you down? Well, who are the people that drag you down? What activities drag you down? And just make a list. And you might not be willing to leave your job. You might not be willing to leave a relationship. You not, might not be willing to say no to an experience that, let's say it's a outing with friends or some other experience that you do on a regular basis. And you see that it's really not feeding you. It's really not making you feel good about yourself. But you're not ready to stop it. So just make a list. Just bring it up into your awareness. These are things that I don't feel fill me up. That I don't feel feed my my energies my soul my happiness and just the awareness of that will be enough to start a process of you'll slowly see yourself doing more and more of the things that are on your vitality list and slowly but surely the things that aren't on your vitality list will take a back seat and you'll either stop doing them or do them less until eventually you're just filling your life with all the things you love to do. Now, are there going to be things that you still don't enjoy doing? Like let's say doing the grocery shopping you really don't enjoy, but sometimes you need to do it. Cleaning the toilets, you really don't enjoy. Filling out certain forms that need to get done. Okay, dealing with the bank. Certain things that we just don't enjoy doing, but we're doing it in order to be living our empowered life. So, okay, our kids really want to go to this school and we have to fill out five pages in order to, you have to get through sometimes those uncomfortable pieces in order to get to the place where okay now I know for the next four years my kids in a school where they are happy this is the school that they chose and we did what we needed to so the same thing with okay you need to switch something with the bit you're doing things in order to make your life run smoother so even the things that you don't enjoy you can leap over that difficulty you can get through that because it's leading you to a smoother life so overall and I can tell you that this works on a practical basis when you are living your life in a way that you're aligning yourself all the time with your enjoyment with love of living with vitality with you just wake up with this wow this chayut I'm just so excited to be doing what I'm gonna be doing today then also the things that are difficult and also those things that you don't enjoy doing, you'll just get through them. You'll just do them because most of the time, your day is filled with love and happiness and joy. And when difficulties arise and you find yourself in a rut, you'll get yourself back to that place because that's gonna be your default. And I know that that can be because I live it. So listen in to the videos and go back to, if this is the first one you're hearing, Go back to listen to the previous ones this is what i talk about finding our empowerment finding the things that make us feel strong and empowered and being able to be in that mindset of happiness is my destiny sending lots of love and uh beautiful beautiful blessings for this magical 48 hours of the new moon and this coming month and uh and this weekend so have a wonderful shabbat and it's a wonderful time to be davening for all the miracles that you want in your life, everything that you want. So, um, so utilize this time to get aligned with what works for you and what you'd like. Sending love.